Hey guys, it's Billy Rickman here and today I'm just doing a quick short little video on group interviews because it is a question I get asked about all the time. And um, for me, it has been something I've been doing for a couple of years now in my own business and I would never, ever, ever, ever go back to doing single interviews again. And I think that we've all been there, right, where you sit and you get all these good candidates or you shortlist these candidates and then you decide to do a, um, an interview process and you block out all these hours and then people don't show up and you're just sitting there left frustrated and wondering what the heck's going on. So a couple of years ago, I'm sure I was reading a book or something, I can't even remember exactly where I got it from, but I was um, I figured out somewhere that, um, that group interviews were a different way to do recruiting and, um, and so I wanted to trial it and see if it worked. And um, so I put a job ad out and got some candidates come in and um, I decided to do a group interview and let people know, I think it was like a Wednesday night or something at seven o'clock um, that we'll be doing these group interviews and you need to, to arrive. And um, I had a pool of about, I don't know, 15, 20 people show up. And, um, and sure as, sure as, uh, as the day, um, you know, with people not, co not turning up, I had people who confirmed they were going to come up to the group interview and they didn't show up, which was just a further confirmation for me that I was doing the right thing. Because if that was a normal situation, I would have allocated like an hour, would have been sitting there waiting for someone and they just didn't show up. So it was good that even though those couple of people didn't turn up, I was still left with a pool of candidates who were there that I could still interview and find out if they were suitable for the job. And um, so we went through this process, did the group interview, and then refined it down to, I think, two or three people who I shortlisted from there, did a single interview, and then found um, people for the job, or a person for the job. And so um, I guess one of the really good things about group interviews, apart from the fact that they save you tons of time, is that you get to see people in their true, their, or the true character of people. And what I mean by that is that anybody can sit down and do a one-on-one -on -one interview with you, and they can sort of like, you know, make things up about where they've been and what they've been doing and and they can put their best show on and let you know how great they are but when you do it in front of a group of people it really shows their true characters and so um i guess one of the other questions i get asked about group interviews is how do you determine who shows up like how do you determine who you're going to bring to the group interview and my answer to that is to invite everybody um, even the candidates who you know are not super like strong candidates and the reason for that is especially if you're doing like a leadership or a management um, position the reason for that is because you want to see how they interact how certain people interact with people who aren't at the same level as them right do they treat those people with compassion or are they rude do they have arrogance or are they like um you know caring and kind um and so you can see that by by bringing people and having a sorry a, a diverse group of people to the group interview and, um, and allowing to them to, to show their, their true personality. One of the other things I do as well is I purposely start group interviews late. And um, so if it's a five o'clock start, I don't start till about five or 10 past. And the reason for that is because um, as we're waiting, I wanna see what those people are doing. Are they sitting on their phone introverted and just being like totally withdrawn and, and into themselves? Or are they you know trying to interact with other people at the group interview? So it shows a good um, like, representation of their character and their personality in terms of being like extrovert, introvert, um, whether or not they're just inwardly, inwardly focused or whether or not they're trying to get to know other people. Um, throughout the group interview, I get them to do group activities as well. And again, I want to see how they interact with each other. And, um, and also I ask for like, um, so people to volunteer for certain tasks, like for one of the, the exercises, for example, I get them to do a selling task, like pick something out of your bag and, and do and sell to me something. And I'll ask for four or five volunteers. And again, I want to see who are the people who will volunteer and who are the people who hold back. These are all things you absolutely cannot see during a one-on-one -on -one interview. So for me, like when I started to do the group interviews, I was amazed at the sort of things I would pick up during interviews um, that I would never get on a one-on-one. -on -one. And um, and so for me, I this is the reason why I do group interviews. It's, it's a time saver. I get to see people's true character. Um, I get to see things that I wouldn't get to see in a one-on-one. -on -one. And so um, for me, it just absolutely works. And I would endorse this for anyone watching this or anyone doing recruitment um, to, to do it in your own business and to see if it works for you because it has for me and it has worked for heaps of people in my inner circle who are doing it now and would never go back as well. So I wanted to give you a quick little video today to hopefully give you guys some ideas for your next round of recruitment, how to do it better, how to save your time and how to recruit better. And so I uh, hope this has helped. Enjoy. If you love it, share it. And uh, I'll chat to you guys soon. Bye-bye.